All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday BFit Live Workout with myself, Roy Montes, and I'm joined with Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing, ma'am? Welcome back. Hi. Good morning. I'm doing well. Good to see you, Roy. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Good morning and welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back this week because I know with you here, you hold me accountable, you push me, and I absolutely love the workouts we have together. And speaking of workouts, uh, everyone, welcome to BFIT Live. <clears throat> this is our live programmed workout for you to join along with us, whether you're at home or on the go, uh, indoors, uh, like Sergeant Barry, or outdoors, uh, still at home, but outdoors like myself, enjoying this cooler weather we have out here. Um, this is a chance to focus on yourself, to strengthen yourself, uh, to get better, each day and each week by week as we go along. Uh, we are about seven or eight months into our BFIT live workout. So thank you so much for joining us, for sticking with us, for going every step and every rep, rep of the way with us. We really do uh, see you, we hear you, and we love the comments that you leave uh, down below. Speaking of comments, drop a, uh, a comment as to where you're joining us from. That's always nice to see where everyone is collectively viewing from. Uh, so with that, if you're new, um, our program timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We will go through four exercises with one minute rest in between each round. So once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises that I will go through and demo. And then we will have one minute of rest in between each round to recover, towel off, hydrate, and get ready for the next round. Uh, so time goes by fast. This is a good time to set aside at least 30 minutes out of your day to get the body moving, get the mind moving, and um, to, to strengthen ourselves each and every workout. So uh, for today, we have more of a strength resistance-based workout. Uh, we have alternating forward lunges for our first exercise. Our second exercise, we will go into a 20 seconds divided by 20 seconds. So 20 second tricep extensions and a 20 second bicep curl. Exercise number three, we will go into five squat pulses and five air squats. And I'll show you those in just a few seconds. And exercise four, we are in a high plank position and we were going to uh, do four toe taps and four arm reaches, okay? So I'll go ahead and demo these exercises so that way there are no surprises. We know what's coming up each and every set and each and every round. And then we will move into dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies ready to work. So with that, again, 40 seconds on, 40 seconds off. Our first exercise is gonna be an alternating forward lunge. We are gonna stand at the back of your room, so to speak. We are gonna take that left foot, extend it forward, drop those hips down, making sure that forward knee is tracking over your toes at a 90 degree bend here. Dropping those hips, 90 degree here. Rear leg is hovering just above the floor. Extend back up, drive back through your heel and you are back at the starting position and we are gonna alternate left leg and right leg. If you want to scale up and grab any dumbbells, any plates, any resistance that you have available to you, anything with the handle, um, go ahead and do that. Again, this will be a great time for alternating uh, forward lunges to add any resistance. Not needed, but it is there. So exercise number two, we are going to do 20 seconds worth of tricep extensions and 20 seconds worth of a bicep curl. So you can either do this uh, alternating or you can do this together. Um, I'm going to do this together here. So I will do uh, 20 seconds worth of tricep extensions. We're going to have a soft bend at those knees, hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back. Elbows are tucked up nice and tight to our body here. And we are gonna extend that resistance back towards your wall, back towards somewhere back there. We're pushing that back <laughs> and slow and controlled, bringing that weight back to chest level and extending those elbows, making a nice straight line with your arms there. That's 20 seconds worth of tricep extension and then 20 seconds worth of bicep curls. Again, your hinging and your pivotal position is only at your elbow here. So we are going to uh, 
20 seconds worth of bicep curls here. Again, controlled tempo is the name of the game here. We don't have to rush through this, but 20 seconds worth of bicep curls uh, for exercise number two. So moving into exercise number three, we will have five squat pulses and five air squats. So we are going to be feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart or where it is comfortable for you. We are gonna soft bend at those knees, drop down into that squat position, pushing those knees a little bit further out here. And at that bottom position, wherever the comfort level may be for you, we are going to raise up about four inches and drop back down into that seated position. Again, those, those hips are pushing back, knees are tracking over your toes here. We are gonna have five pulses here. And once we're through with those five, we're back up top into five full air squats here. Again, driving through the heels, pushing those hips forward at the top into those five. And once you're done with five and five, you go back down into those five squat pulses and then five air squats to time us out for that 40 seconds of work. Exercise number four, we have, uh, we're working on core stability. So I'm gonna bring this camera down so you can see. We have four toe taps and four arm reaches. So we are gonna go down into our high plank position here. With our right arm, we are going to reach for our left toe back into that high plank position. Left arm to right toe. And again, we're gonna, we are gonna accomplish four of these. And once we are done with that four, right arm straight ahead, straight out in front of you into arm reaches. So four and four, three, four, and then we're back into those toe touches. For 40 seconds of work here, that's gonna target our core for stability and control. And that's gonna round out our exercise. So again, it's, it's a uh, resistance-based workout more resistant dominant today. Uh, so with that, let's jump into the workout. Dynamic stretching, of course, first, and then we'll move into the workout. So grab, grab your towel, grab your water, grab those resistance, uh, any type of resistance that you may have available to you, and we will jump right in. We are currently 39 degrees in Dallas, Texas. Let me know how cold it is from where you're watching from. That'll be interesting to see <laughs> how cold it is for some of us who are staying active and staying moving and trying to stay warm. So with that, dynamic stretching is up here to get our bodies warm, to get our muscles warm, and to get blood flowing to our body parts here. So dynamic quad stretch is gonna be up first. We're gonna reach back with that left leg back. Right arm is gonna extend all the way up top, pushing those hips forward. And then we are gonna alternate right leg back and left arm up. This is gonna be about 30 seconds worth of work. So go ahead and take your time, move as quickly or as slow as you need for any of these dynamic stretching uh, warmups. But the goal is to get your body moving, some blood flow into those extremities. Get the heart rate elevated just a little bit. I'm gonna go with two more reps here. Pushing those hips forward, squeezing. One long stretch with those shoulders. My shoulders are always a little tight. All right, let's go into reverse lunge with the alt, alt reach. So let's go ahead and clasp those hands together. We're at the top of the mat here. My right leg is going all the way back into a reverse lunge. Hands over top and reaching to the side here. And then once that stretch is there, let's go ahead and come up top and alternate legs, reverse lunge with the reach. With that reach, you're able to feel that nice stretch within your back, in those lats, in your shoulders, all the while sitting back in that reverse lunge getting blood flow into those legs, to the glutes, to your hamstrings. Nice, shake this out as needed. There we are. <clears throat> One more here. Good, good, good. Let's move in next to that lateral lunge here. We're going to shift our weight side to side. Nice wide stance, feet should be pointing forward. 
knees tracking over toes here and we are just slowly shifting our body weight to the left and to the right. You can feel blood flow moving into those legs. You can feel that stretch within your inner thigh here. Again, we're just trying to wake up the body here, wake up our muscle groups. Some nice, easy stretching here before we get into work. All right, good, good, good. Let's go ahead and move into hip circles up next. We're gonna start with that right leg, right leg going back and then right leg going forward, left leg back into a circle, left leg forward, warming up those hips. Once again, if you are seated for a long period of time, this is a great way. These are some great movements that you can add to your daily routine. Just to open up those hips, get them moving, get your body moving, get your heart rate moving and elevated. All right, that looks good to me. Let's go into YTWs once again. We have some, uh, some upper body work with those high planks. So let's go ahead and move uh, into YTWs. We're gonna go ahead and come to center here. Feet, nice strong stance. Moving into that big Y here. We're able to stretch out with those shoulders into that T, mid to upper back, back to center. And a big W here, squeezing here. Again, shoulder blades back. We'll do about three sets of these back into that Y. Chi, take your time with these as needed. Long stretch into the W here. Good, good, good. Back to the Y, nice long stretch. Good. Big T here, just feel momentum and that stretch into the shoulder blades, W. Good, all right, I'm warm, I'm ready to go. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm excited, let's do this. <laughs> all right, absolutely. Let me go ahead and get my timer ready. Grab water, grab your towel. Again, stay hydrated during this workout. And once again, we have alternating forward lunges. First up. So we are going to start here in nine seconds. Again, you're at the back of your mat and you're gonna forward lunge here in three, two, one. All right, 40 seconds of work is on the clock and we are working now. Here at the back of your mat, again, that front foot, that knee should be tracking just over your toes here. And that rear knee is hovering just above the floor. You're pushing back through that front heel, back up to that starting position. You can keep your hands together here. 15 more seconds of work here. Keeping your hands at center. You can keep your hands like a running movement. Left leg, right arm up. Five more seconds of work here. Three, two, one. That was a slow five second count, I know. 18, 20 seconds of rest here and we're moving into our arm blaster, our 20 seconds of tricep extensions and 20 seconds of bicep curls. So tricep extensions are up next, or up first actually. In four, three, two, all right, we're working here. Feet are close together here, closer than the shoulder width apart. We are having, we have a soft bend at our knees, hinging at the hips. Our back is flat, our head, our neck, and our spine are in a relatively straight line. 23 more, 20, 22 seconds in, 20 seconds in, and we are alternating now. Let's go into those bicep curls. So from tricep extension to a bicep curl, keeping those elbows tucked in to your body. Five seconds here, going all the way down. We're coming all the way up, two, one, and time. Squats, five squat pulses are up next with five air squats. Remember five squat pulses are gonna be here. You're at that bottom portion and you're raising up just a few inches and back down. We're there in four, three, two, one, and we're working here. Feet are gonna be more than shoulder width apart here. You're dropping down into that squat. Raising up just a few inches, five pulses. 
and then we're driving all the way up for five air squats. So from zero all the way up, all the way down, five air squats, and we're back down into five squat pulses. 15 more seconds of work here. <laughs> Did these burn for you? I know that <laughs> I'm feeling it here. Five more seconds here. Pulses, three, two, one. Good work, good work. Our legs, our glutes, our quads, our glutes especially, this is where we draw a lot of our power from. So that's where we are isolating with those pulses. Eight more seconds, we're down to toe taps and arm reaches in three, two, one. High plank position here, our right hand is reaching back to our left toe. Back into that high plank, left arm, left hand, right toe. All right, four of these. And then we are moving into arm reaches back in that high plank position, reaching arm all the way out, left arm and then right arm. We are trying to keep a relatively straight line here between uh, from our head all the way down to our heels. 12 more seconds left here. If we need to modify, let's go ahead and drop down to those knees and hold that plank position for two, one, and time. And just like that, our first round is complete. Our first round is done. Time is flying by here. <laughs> we like to say the first round, we learn it. And the second round, we own it. So we have 30 seconds of rest here. Make sure and hydrate, towel off. Now that we're nice and warm, if you're looking to scale up, adding some additional weight to those lunges, to those bicep and tricep extensions. Let's go ahead and grab those. I'll show you what those look like as well. And if we need to scale down with those forward lunges, if you have a chair available to you, go ahead and hold on to that chair with that forward lunge here. Same form, same nice form here. All right, we're back up in three, two, one alternating forward lunge, 40 seconds on the clock here. I like to hold my weight down by my side. Sergeant Barry's working with a plate, a single plate here. So she has hers at chest level, holding onto the sides. Good work, ma'am. 20 seconds left here. Let's go at our own pace. Again, dropping those hips down nice and comfortably. That front knee should be tracking over your toes, not too far. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and time. If you find your knee tracking too far over your toe, go ahead and take a wider step out to where when you drop those hips down, your knee is not passing over your toe. It's right in line with that toe there. That'll help out with your lunge here. Bicep and tricep extensions. And two, one, all right, we're working here. Tricep extensions, again, keeping that flat back, controlling the weight, controlling your tempo is the most important here. Five more seconds and then we'll switch into a bicep curl. 22, 21, all right, let's switch. Alternating here, I have two dumbbells here, if you have one dumbbell that you're working with, go ahead and alternate arms. 10 seconds left. In three, two, one, and time. All right, we're done with our arm blasters for that round. 10 seconds left and we're going into five air squats and five pulses. Five pulses up first and then five air squats. In three, two, one, here we go. Dropping those hips down first, back and down. Pulsing a few inches up. Three, four, five, and extending all the way up here. Again, really feeling those quads and those glutes working. Think about the muscle groups that you're working. Feel that power being driven and drawn from those muscle groups. Four, five, 
All right, 10 more seconds left on the clock. I'm all the way up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good work team, good work. All right, that's one big compound movement. We are jumping into those four toe touches and four arm reaches. Here we go in five, four, three, two. Can you do it? One, back into that high plank here. Right hand reaches back to that left toe and high plank, left arm to right foot. Again, if we need to scale back here, go ahead and just hold that high plank position. And if we need to scale down just a little bit more, go ahead and go to your knees and just hold that plank. 10 more seconds on the clock. A good note here is the wider your feet stance, the more stability you will have in holding a plank. Two, one, and time. Awesome job, awesome job. Way to go team. How are we doing? How are we doing? Let me fix this here. <laughs> All right, again, two rounds are done. Two rounds are in the books. We have, we have earned 30 seconds left on our clock of resting. Again, hydrate, keep moving. If you wanna add in some additional cardio, now's a good time to throw in some jacks or just jump around just to keep that heart rate elevated. 15 more seconds here. I know we're doing a lot of strength training today. So although that gets your heart rate elevated, if you're looking for something else. All right, three more seconds here and we're back into forward lunges. Grab that weight, grab that chair, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's work team. All right. Let me know how you're doing. I wonder what that temperature is like down below in those comments. <laughs> how cool is it where you're working out at? <sighs> 15 seconds left on the clock here. Again, driving those hips down, extending back, driving from that forward heel back to the top of your mat. Five seconds on the clock, four, three, two, and one. Good job, team. Good work. 10 seconds left here. Tricep extensions and bicep curls in five. Grabbing my trusty dumbbells here, two, one. All right, we're working here, hinging at the hips, extending back to the wall with those tricep extensions. Six, five, three more seconds and we'll switch to a bicep curl. Two, one, good. Now we're up to work in the front part of our body with these bicep curls, making sure that our elbows are tucked in by our side. Should be the only part moving. Try to minimize your sway for three more seconds. Two, one, last rep time. Good job, good job team. All right, now to, now to target our lower body with those squat pulses and air squats. Coming up in five. Things are warming up. Two, one. All right, dropping down into those five pulses. Three, four, five, all the way up into that air squat. Again, think about driving from those heels. All of your weight should be driving from those heels. Just a few inches raising on those hip, uh, those squat pulses. All the way up, keeping that flat back. Your head should be looking straight ahead in a neutral position. So neutral meaning our head, our neck and our spine are in a relatively straight line. Two, one, and time. Good work, good work. 
that gets my heart rate elevated. <laughs> All right, we're on deck here for the toe taps and arm reaches. In three, two, one. Here we go, team. Reaching back to those toes, left to right, right to left. Hiking up. And don't forget those arm reaches. Again, try and focus on your breathing here. Good work, 15 seconds left. When you're in that high plank position, you should be taking a deep breath in. Deep breath out when you're reaching. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome job. Awesome work, team. Let's raise you back up. How are we doing? <laughs> oh, y'all are looking good. Woo. This one feels nice. Mm. 30 seconds on the clock here and we'll jump into those alternating forward lunges for our last and final set. I know time is flying here. Again, if we need to modify, let's go ahead and grab onto that chair for stability and balance and just work on dropping those hips down a little bit at a time. In five, four, three, two. All right, team, we're working for the last set. I'm sorry, that last round here. Last set for alternating forward lunges. Again, I have two dumbbells that I'm working with. If we just had one, we could go and hold up just like Sergeant Barry is doing. Nice. 15 seconds left on the clock. Making sure we are dropping those hips down first. That forward knee is tracking over that toe. Seven seconds left here. Keeping that chest up nice and proud for three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. Good work. Tricep extensions and bicep curls. If you are seated, for example, on this tricep extension, you can go ahead and carry a weight overhead for you. The whole idea. And we're working here 20 seconds of tricep extensions. The whole idea is just pivoting at that elbow. So as long as you're pivoting at that elbow and extending out, you're activating and using your tricep. Five seconds on the clock here, and then we will turn it into a bicep curl. 21. 20, let's rotate here, bicep curls. It may not be summertime, but our arms are gonna look nice. <laughs> we work now for the months ahead. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> 15 seconds left here on the clock to rest, and we will jump into the five air squats and five Pulses, five squat pulses here. Last round here. Let's finish off strong in three, two, one, five air squats. We're working here. Five air squats, four, five. Bouncing up, driving those hips up, driving through those heels. Nice tall stance at the top, back into those squat pulses. Nice and controlled, nice and smooth. Slower the tempo, the harder it is for that movement. This may look like a simple movement, <laughs> but time under tension and your muscle fibers will let you know. Five more seconds left here. Four, three, two, one. Time, good job team, good work. Last and final set for today's workout. Activating that core. For a lot of our day-to-day -day movements here in five, four, three, two. All right, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's work here, four toe taps and four arm reachers and repeat. 
One, two, nice long reaches here. Keeping that core tight, core engaged. That nice flat back. Hiking up at the top, 20 more seconds left here. Finish strong. Nice long reaches again. Good job team, keep it up. 10 more seconds here. Three, four, one reach. Three more seconds, finish strong. Finish that set, finish that round and time. Good job. All yeah. right. All right, team, how are we doing? How are we looking? We are looking stronger. I know we are. <laughs> ah, we look stronger already. 1% better each day. <sighs> this, may, this may have been our 1% better. Our 1% better here. What a great way to start off our Monday, our Monday morning. As I catch my breath. <laughs> Sergeant Barry, you did, you did wonderful today. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Feels yes, good, I think. I'll let you know later. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And for anyone watching, let us know later if you decide <laughs> to join with our live workout and let us know how you're doing right now as well after the workout has completed. <laughs> <laughs> Always, it's, it's nice to see so many comments, so much support for our BFIT program and support for one another. I know times can be challenging right now, but if we have a constant like we do here on our Mondays with our BFIT live workouts, it's, uh, it's, it's easier to get through challenging uh, times uh, as a team, as a community, and also focusing on ourselves with our health and our wellness because it is an important part of the equation here. So with that, Sergeant Barry, I know we've had a really strong workout for today. Any last words for our, for our viewers? Uh, and I was just, I was thinking, um, I'm really active. And so I appreciate this now more than ever, because I can't necessarily always go out and get on my bike when it's raining. So, um, but I think about these workouts as it's keeping me strong. So when I do go back out on my bike, I'll stay strong. So appreciate it. I mean, even though I'm kind of stuck in the house, I'm glad to have this option. So. Yes, ma'am. And, and I, I think it's so great that you are able to show our viewers what it's like to work out from inside the house and inside a, a tight space. Uh, you know, I, I think one of my issues is my space may be a little bit too tight, but you know, it's still, we're able to get in our workouts within a relatively small space. And I think it's important to, to show, and I know you've, you've shown a lot, of, um, a lot of progress and a lot of strength and endurance throughout your at-home workouts. And I think it's, it's, it's so great to see uh, from your end as well. So thank you so much for you. Um, yeah, yeah, and I think like you pointed out, um, you know, I, I'd like to say every day is a workout. We may not realize that the motions or movements or activities that we're doing every day are foundational movements that you see here on BFIT Live. If it's a squat, you're, you know, you are doing this every day, getting up from a chair, getting up from the dining room table, getting up from a couch. You are using those same muscle groups, your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your core. So the things that we are activating here on BFIT Live are the same muscle groups that you're using every day throughout uh, your you know, everyday lifestyle. So it's a great transition here. And whether you're starting from uh, ground zero or whether you're a seasoned active uh, war fighter, uh, you know, these same movements and exercises can be elevated or can be scaled down to uh, your fitness level. So um, I, I thank you all for joining us, uh, Sergeant Barry and myself, Roy. Um, uh, that leaves us with a, a goodbye here. Have a great rest of your Monday. Have a great strong week. Finish off the week strong. Let us know how you're feeling after this workout. And uh, we, uh, we will see you again next Monday for BFIT Live on our Motivational Mondays. Thank you guys, signing off.